G'day everyone, this is Green Gully and this is a hardcore TDM on one of the new maps that has been released through the Elite playlist. It's one of the um, the original ones back in January I think. And I wanted to bring you a new map, but to be honest, I can't find a game. I go into the Elite playlist and I sit there and I search for game after game after game and nothing and it is frustrating me to the point that I just I just leave and I turn the DLC off to find a, a normal game why my theory behind this is that there isn't enough people playing it basically you've got say so many people that have bought Elite or so many people that haven't bought Elite that don't get the playlist and all the people that have bought the the Elite package want to play the new maps first because they get them first but they can't find a game because the Elite playlist is barely full and when it is a lot of people they just leave because Nine times out of the ten, the people who have bought Elite are the good players. And so they, so people get frustrated and leave and turn DLC off and just go back to the standard playlist, which is disappointing because I want to play the new maps, but I can't. So that's a division there. So you're getting the div divide between the general population and the people who have paid or bought elite and then you're also getting a divide between the general population between the people who have bought the new map packs and the people who don't buy the map packs the people who sit around and just jump on a game for a couple of hours they're not going to buy the new maps they're not going to pay the extra for elite are they? So, you're going to get a division in the general population between the people who have bought the new map packs and the people who don't buy the map packs. So that's a division there. And then you've also got the elite players, or the, the people who have bought elite. So that's another division. That's like a three division. That's watering down the player pool by a third, almost. Well, it depends on how many people actually bought Elite. So, you're not really getting the the number of people playing it, I guess. I'm, I mean, that's the only reason why people turn off the DLC. Because they can't find a freaking game. So, if that's going to be how it is in the future, what's the point? What is the point of renewing your Elite subscription if what you're going to get is nothing and the only chance you'll get of playing the new maps is when they're released to the general population where half of those people actually pay for the DLC. So there's no point getting it early because there's no one online to play it. And if this model, if if this is how they're going to run the show come Black Ops time, come November when Black Ops 2 comes out, is it really worth paying all that money for Elite? Is it? I mean, their website's barely functioning as it is. I'm a member of a clan at the moment, and I think we've only done one clan challenge from memory. And it just makes it frustratingly difficult and frustratingly hard to justify renewing your subscription for a following year when nothing seems to be working right. And Black Ops 2, from memory, I think I watched an interview of them saying that they're going to integrate even more with Elite. But hopefully they'll... I don't know whether they'll have their system ironed out by then or whether the kinks will be ironed out by then. 
hopefully Treyarch and the people who do run the Elite website get their act together and see what's happening out in the community. Which is a bit different from um, the American population where there's just a sheer number of people playing it. So I don't know. I really hope they do fix it. Looking over at Battlefield 3 Premium, they've done everything right. I can't fault them at all on their premium service. There they drop maps two weeks early for premium members so the general population only has to wait two weeks to get the new maps which is fantastic because then you've got the build up of people you've got people on the you know people in the game you only have to wait two weeks before everybody gets the same map and then you can all play merrily happily together whereas elite you gotta wait months for the gen pop to get it which is just it doesn't make sense to me so that's that's my thoughts on elite and I don't know oh god I'm really on the fence about renewing my subscription I was massive Call of Duty fan and I would buy everything that came out but now I'm, I'm just not too sure what are your thoughts do you agree with me do you think elite ruined Call of Duty franchise do you think they should go back to the way it was with the map drops let me know in the comments anyway guys this has been Green Gully and thanks for watching